what is your position on term limits? Because we the people have not been represented in Congress for many, many years. Uh, our forefathers who wrote the Constitution didn't have in mind that we would have long-term people in Congress who spent 20, 30, 40 years. And they no longer represent the people of this country. They have lost their way, and the only way we can get this back is to uh, have a system where they run for office for two terms. If they want to go on to a further office, they resign their position that they're currently in and, and let the people decide how this country is going to be run so that we, the people, feel comfortable that we're going to be well represented in this country. Well, that's a darn good question. Thank you. And when I say it's a darn good question, what I mean is I surely agree with you. I, I would love to see term limits in Washington for our senators and for our congressmen. We have a term, term limits for our president. That's the way it ought to be. But I'd love to see the same thing in Congress and the same thing in the Senate. Uh, I, the, the vision of this country, I, I'm sure in the mind of the founders, was that we would have citizen legislators. I mean, you look at the, at the great early leaders of this country, and, and they went to Washington, served, and then went home. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it be nice if the people who went to Washington had actually lived in some place before that, worked someplace before that, known what it's like to work in enterprise. You have a president who's never had a job, all right? No wonder he can't create jobs he hasn't had a job, all right? So, so yeah. it, it, seems, it seems some people go to Washington to serve the people and then they stay to serve themselves. And, and, and we, I would love to see uh, term limits, and, and, uh, and, uh, and I don't know what the right number of terms is. We can all talk about how many it would be and so forth. You want people there that have a long enough experience that they understand how the process of government works, but you also want them to know they're going to go back. And, and you, don't want them, you don't want them to have extraordinarily special deals. One of the things that really that struck me was the idea that the people in Congress are not subject to insider trading laws. It's like, what? I, I mean, when I heard that, it's like, you've got to be kidding me. So if, if you're a congressman about, for instance, to call for a, uh, an investigation on a company, or you're going to sponsor a bill that would really hurt a particular enterprise, let's say you're going to come up with something that's really going to hurt um, a, a, a form of, a, a, let's use, a, a communications, an internet bill or something of that nature, well, you can go out and short the stocks of some of the companies that trade in that area before you announce your attack. And then when the stocks get hurt, you make some money. It's unbelievable that they're allowed to do that. I, I, um, there, there's all, one of the reasons that I'm in this race is that I believe that right now the American people know that to fix Washington, we're going to have to have someone who comes from outside Washington. I am not a creature of Washington. I, I haven't been in Washington as a politician. I won't stay in Washington when my term is over. Or terms, as the case may be. I mean, I will go home. I love Lake Winnipesaukee a lot better than I am, than I like Washington. I got to tell you. Uh, 